Hi there, I'm Stephen Holt and this is News 4 Now for Monday, January 6th. First up, let's talk about the weather. Staying clear tonight, but clouds are going to move in tomorrow and we could see even a little snow, maybe even some rain in the evening. All right, turning now to the news, Harvey Weinstein facing new charges in California just as his sex assault trial gets underway here in New York. The film producer was charged in L.A. with raping two women just a day apart in 2013. Prosecutors in California say they're also looking at more claims from three other women. All this coming just as Weinstein's attorneys were denied a request to sequester jurors at his trial, which begins in earnest later this week. Weinstein has denied ever having non-consensual sex. A Long Island babysitter has been accused of leaving a two-year-old in a scalding hot bath and ignoring his screams. Police say Yancy Elizabeth Lopez gave her cousin second degree burns. She even took him to a birthday party afterwards. That's where people noticed that he was in pain. Lopez has pleaded not guilty to reckless assault and other charges. Her mom says it was simply an accident. People in Puerto Rico are surveying the damage after yet another earthquake rattled the island this morning. The magnitude 5.8 quake struck off the southern coast. It triggered a small landslide, caused power outages, and even knocked homes off their foundation. Some houses cracked in half and fell onto cars. So far, there's no word of any injuries nor deaths. Several small earthquakes have hit the island over the past two weeks. If you take the train out of Penn Station, listen to this. The transit hub could get another makeover. Governor Cuomo says he wants to add eight sets of tracks, which would increase capacity by 40%. That's in addition to the new Moynihan train hall, which opens later this year. But right now, it's not clear when the new tracks will be done or how much this project is going to cost. And speaking of Governor Cuomo, he's being credited with saving a driver from a crash earlier this afternoon. You can see him here. He was actually leaving from that Penn Station announcement when he spotted the crash on the BQE. Rather than wait for first responders to arrive, the governor jumped into action, actually cutting the driver loose from his car. No one was seriously hurt. Believe it or not, this is actually the third time he has helped out drivers in the last few years. That's going to be all for News 4 now, but keep watching to meet the New Jersey native who just took home a Golden Globe. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for watching.